Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ruben Banter! Today we have a very special guest, sophomore at UCLA, and our wonderful roommate from <laughs> Melbourne, Australia, Miss. Stella Savadu. Yeah. Hi. Thanks for having me. Of course. Thanks for being on the show. You beat me to the punch, girl. Thanks for coming into, out of your room to the couch. <laughs> oh, it was really it was hard, really but it's okay. Track. So if you didn't notice, Brune fans, we're actually doing Brune banter from our apartment. Yeah. So welcome to our home. <laughs> Special edition. <laughs> so Stella, you've had a pretty exciting season, would you say, this year? I have so far. It's been amazing. Yeah. And you did a great job this weekend. Thanks, Hallie. Of course. So Bruins, let's do a recap of the meet. So first, the Bruins started off on vault. And some of the highlights on vault, we had a three-way tie. But not only was it a three-way tie, we actually had a first career win from Miss Sonia Mraz on the vault, tied with Madison Koshin and Kyla Roth. And moving on to the bars, we also had some really beautiful and solid routines, and a highlight being Kyla Ross's 9.95. Moving next to the beam, Kyla again with her third win of the meet, winning beam with a 9.95, also followed along by a lot of really solid routines up there. Next was a floor exercise and it was super exciting because Macy keeps getting better for her second meet. She gets a 9.925. Good job, Macy. The Bruins kept improving on floor as the lineups went along. Madison Koshin got a 9.95 and Miss Hallie Mosette almost scoring a perfect 10, but one judge gave her a 10, the other one gave her a 9.95. It was so close and we thought it was a 10 in our hearts. Hallie, next meet. Yes, it's the goal. How did you feel after your routine? I felt so good. I actually thought that I got a 10. And so I was like <laughs> emotional. I mean, like, I was very happy, like this is my career high and everything. But like, so if you watch the video, I saw the judge give me a 10 from one side and I started crying, right? And then as soon as I found out, like it wasn't like that much crying, a little crying. Yeah. But as soon as I found out that I got the 9975, emotion stopped. <laughs> I was like, well then, next time. But I was, I'm really happy I got 10 and just like made me want to work even harder to get that 10. So I'm excited. For I'm excited for you to get that 10 because that was for sure a 10 routine. I thought it was going to be a 10. Same. I was like, that's for sure a 10 was a deduction. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, I was noticing when you were out there that you were you lit up during your choreography and you could almost tell that after you hit every single landing, you stuck every landing too. That when you were doing your choreography, you were selling it to the fullest and everyone in the crowd was snapping along with you and it was so much fun to watch. Thanks, Peng. I love focusing on my dance when I do my floor routine. It kind of pumps me up rather than focusing on the tumbling. Of course, I have my little cues, but the dance is definitely very, very important to me. But speaking of dance, Miss Stella Savadu has a dance background, so can you talk about that a little bit? So yeah, I used to do a bit of ballet while I was in high school, but I had to drop that because I was more committed to gymnastics. But I did about five years and I was on point for a long time, and I really loved that. So I think I've tried to bring that over to my floor routine as well. Mm -hmm. So how do you incorporate that into your gymnastics? How do you keep that elegance that you have? I'm not, I don't really consciously think about it every day. I think it's because I've had that background from a younger age. I just carry it through. I feel like it's second nature to you. Cause yeah. I mean, sometimes in the kitchen, she'll be getting maybe cereal or something and just twirling yeah, <laughs> and then twirls. grabs the milk so elegantly and then pours it into the bowl. But exactly. you're welcome. <laughs> she twirls, she walks on her toes a lot. Yeah. She does it all. Yeah. It feels so nice. <laughs> Yeah, isn't your floor routine character like a foot doctor or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so my floor routine, I'm a crazy podiatrist who has a foot <laughs> fetish. So basically, when I'm seeing patients, I have to be normal. But then when I'm out in the staff room or something, I'm just like playing with my feet, making sure they're pointed and stuff. So <laughs> that's the background story. Your facial expressions have gotten more expressive throughout the whole season. I think the first meet, she might have looked at her toe <laughs> pushed it away. The second meal was like, oh, my foot. Pushed it away and you're like, wow, my foot. <laughs> and you should watch your facial expressions during your floor routines because it's really cool. Yeah, I think I've started to evolve my facial expressions more because in Elite, you don't really do that. Mm -hmm. So, and it's my first year like 
in season competing floor. So I've started to develop that and learn from like Hallie and everyone how to do it. So I'm, hopefully it's just going to get better. I, yeah. think, I think a lot of people don't know about your injuries that you've been through because you only came in on vault just recently, really. Two weeks ago. Right, and because you didn't train it that much before you competed either. Right. No. <laughs> it was a bit of a shock that I was coming in so soon because I only did about two or three sessions of going over the vault. I only vaulted to the hard with a full once. So mm -hmm. when Randy's like, okay, you're in, I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I had the adrenaline and I knew I was gonna be fine because I've done it so many times in my past career. But yeah, I was just really excited to do vault for the team. I didn't think it would come this soon. Can you talk about your injury a little bit more? Yeah, so basically when I came in last year, I didn't do any floor of vault. I had a chronic sort of injury to my ankle where I had an extra bone at the back, which was pinching when I, every time I'd point my foot. So I had surgery in summer to take the bone out and clean it up a little. Yeah, I started gradually getting back right in time for season. So that was really exciting. Yeah. yeah. And you came back really quick too. Yeah. <laughs> how, how was your first experience? So I think also Stella came in in January last year, so she missed all of preseason yeah. her freshman year. Yeah. So was it what you were expecting? Because I know a lot of the girls are telling you about preseason and right. trying to catch you up and fill you in on it. Yeah. So how was Woodward? So Woodward for me, because I was still post-op and in the boot, I wasn't really able to do that much, mm -hmm. but I was able to be there with the team and see what it's really like. So you didn't get to do as much of Woodward training this mm -hmm. past year, but you did get to partake in those team activities. <laughs> yes. How that was fun was that for you? <laughs> that was so funny. I, had, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. It was amazing, but your, your group was a highlight, I think. I think your Yours group was, was a highlight. highlight. So Stella, Stella tried to put on her best American accent while she was trying to do this team challenge. And I think it had all of us rolling. It was so <laughs> funny. Because not only was she rapping, she was also trying to do an American accent. <laughs> and the two of them together was just, it Nothing. was pretty funny. It was <laughs> catastrophic. <laughs> So basically for about a month and a half, I was playing that video every day, just like literally dying. So can you, can you guys please check this out really quick? <laughs> enjoyed that as much as we did back in September because we all had a great time doing those challenges. Yeah. Still have a good time reflecting on those moments. Yeah, we still watch them now and then if we're feeling a little low. Yeah. <laughs> Can you try and put on your American accent for us? Um, what should I say? You should say, I'm going to be hitting my goals. I'm going to be giving my heart and soul. Okay. I'm going to be hitting my goals. I'm going to be... <laughs> Giving it my heart and soul. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I try, okay? It's, it's great. I love your awesome. accent. I wish I could Thanks. have like an Australian accent, but. I mean, Peng has mastered my accent pretty well. That's yeah. because I live with her. <laughs> so I've learned to do Stella's Australian accent pretty well. I think. She's pretty good at it. Yeah. With the wallabies and the koala. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> this week, we had you tweeting your questions to UCLA Gymnastics, Hallie, me, and Stella. So let's get on to Twitter questions. So the first one comes from Elle, um, at gymnast U Gymnast. USA and it says what's the biggest difference coming from Australia to America I love you all <laughs> love you oh that's a hard question I get that asked a lot but I think it's gonna come down to the culture um, culture 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the culture. How what? do you say it? Culture? Culture. Culture. I like the way you say it. Culture. Right? So the biggest difference from America to Australia for me is probably the culture and the money in America. <laughs> I still can't quite understand it. They're pretty much all the same color, but like in Australia, your $5 bill will be pink and then your 10 will be blue. Your 20 is orange. The ones here, they're pretty much all the same color. And if I'm not wearing my glasses, it's just like, oh, well, You're does rich. that work? <laughs> yeah, I could have a hundred and I wouldn't know. Um, yeah, I think that's like one big thing. And then also another thing is on a long weekend when like my friends can just drive home, I can't really do that. Like it would mm -hmm. take me a whole day to get home. So I think that's another, that's probably one of the hardest things. So this Twitter question is from Alyssa and she says, how have you changed your mindset since freshman year and how has it helped you? Oh, that's a hard <laughs> one. So I think my mindset from freshman year has completely switched. I'm a lot more consistent, especially in bars, because that's what I competed last year and I'm doing again this year. And I have a lot more confidence in my gymnastics and myself. So I think that has helped me so much. Like if I were to come back to try and do floor last year, I don't think I would have come back so quickly or even come back. So being able to have a different positive mindset and look on everything and just being mindful about everything I do, I've been able to come back so much stronger and I didn't think I would have done the last year. Thank you so much for being on Brew and Banter. Thank you so much for asking me. I really enjoy my time. All right guys, next me is going to be really special because we're trying to do hashtag pack poly. So make sure you bring your friends, your families, this Sunday at 1 p.m. March 5th, and if you can't be there, it'll be on Pac-12 Networks. So Stella, we really want you to do the ending jingle, but in your Australian accent. Okay, <laughs> it's a great voice. And a great voice. Oh yes, yeah. she has a great voice. Catch us next time on Brewin' Banter!